The restoration program finished this year with uh, roughly 30,000 plants in, uh, at the Paradise. It was an 80,000 plant year though. We did, um, well, was, we were planting 80,000 plants, but the greenhouse is very successful and they grew us an extra 5,000 a plant, which we did. So approximately 85,000 plants were grown this year and planted, um, 50,000 of those being over at sunrise. Every plant that goes in the ground is going to be watered until end of season, um, either which is going to be rainfall and then eventually snow. If we're not getting the rain, it's all hand watering. We're going to keep watering them weekly. And so there's a large element of, of work there because you're trying to plant, but every time you're watering, you're taking your, you know, you're basically taking people out of the wall of planting. So it's a trade-off. Going to September allows us to get that rainfall and, uh, and keep the plants very healthy that way. Once we go to snow, um, snow is a blessing to the plants as well. Um, not to the work. It'll shut us down. If we get too much snow, we're done. The snow will stop our season. It's what begins our season and ends our season. But as far as the plants, uh, we have a 90% uh, or better success rate with the vegetation that we plant. Remember, they're all native plants. They are all, um, they're all originally would have been here in time. They're from parents that live right next to the site, parental stock. Um, so they're very well suited to the area. And once the snow hits, it's basically just sending them into a dormancy. They're treating it like the, any of the native plants in the area. I mean, all the native plants around us survive, and these plants we're planting are following the exact same rules, so they survive just as well. After that year of planting, that year that we plant them, we never water them again, and uh, we don't do anything with them. They're just now part of the natural native landscape, and, um, and that 90% or better success rate persists. The only way we lose them, and we lose them very quickly, is if we get repetitive use again. If for some reason, um, whatever the factor was causing off-trail travel, uh, causing the social trail or that impact to happen the first time, isn't stopped, we'll lose a planting uh, within the, the next year. You'll see an immediate loss of species. And then maybe you know, in the second year after planting, you're noticing that most of your plants are, are again dead, that you're going back to a bare ground impact. Mm -hmm.